Advent, December 8th, 2023. Beacons of Light, Acts chapter 11, verses 19 through 26. Now those traveled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, and they spoke the word. Acts chapter 11, verse 19. Iona is a small island, only three miles long and less than two miles wide in the north of Scotland. A community there embodying Celtic theology and practice gathers for worship every morning at 9 a.m. and every evening at 9 p.m. in an abbey of ancient stones. The scattered islands in that area are called the Hebrides, named in connection with the tradition of a goddess Brigid that persists in the tales of Saint Brigid, a potent figure in early Christianity of the region. The Book of Kells in Ireland was begun at the abbey on Iona. Art and stories of the faith are filled with the motif of journeys crossing the sea between islands. As good people with steadfast purpose travel and share their lives, the spirit of Christ spread to new communities and expanding regions. Like those who traveled from Cyprus, Cyrene, and Jerusalem, others whose names have been forgotten shared a winsome spirit of Christ that brought faith and hope. We know that in some instances, the church spread through empire and conquest, and unsavory consequences continue legacies of injustice and harm. However, the encouraging, cheerful gentleness of nameless good people ignited curiosity and wonder that persisted. What are these ways of Jesus? What is this Holy Spirit? How can the divine be incarnate in flesh and blood that interacts with solid ground, shifting seas and stones standing for centuries? Today, I remember Iona and other beacons of light in our weary world. Ponder of our connections with seekers and justice and transformation who meet every week to sing, study, pray, and act for new creation. Dr. Kathy McCallie, Associate Professor of Ministerial Leadership and Ethics.